So is it time for me to get a new reef tank? Maybe. Stay tuned. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So I've had this 187 gallon tank behind me for a few years now and I'm starting to kind of get the itch to add another tank to the room down here. This is a basement area. So it, um, I've got a lot of different possible locations around here and what I really wanted to do was to take you guys on a tour of my basement area and uh, kind of show you the spots that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about either a, a peninsula tank or a cube tank. I'm still not sure I'm going to get this new tank, but I'm just kind of thinking about it. So I'll start this off with a tour of the equipment room for my 187 gallon tank just to kind of give you a uh, feel of what I've got in terms of the current setup. And then we'll do that little uh, tour of the locations in the basement here. So let's get on the, uh, the tour. Okay, so here is the space downstairs. As you can see, there's the display tank. That's my desk. I guess you can kind of call this my office around here. Got a nice little pool table. This is the basement area. This is an unfinished basement uh, when we first moved in here. So we finished it off. And I really had the uh, folks that um, did the basement build this little nook back here for my 187 gallon reef tank. And it's really nicely uh, offset. It's got a really good corner for that tank. And I thought a lot about this tank and it's really really good location but as you can see <clears throat> there's a lot of space down here and we have a lot of different possibilities for a location of another tank pan wide here so you know options are good to have but let's start by doing like a, just a quick tour of how I had this whole tank plumbed and what I did here for those of you that, that, uh, that don't know is I plumbed it through the wall okay so I've got PVC piping I've drilled some holes through the wall nice and clean I was thinking about covering up the um, the PVC piping but I kind of like the industrial look so there's really no equipment underneath the tank there's nothing okay and I've reason why I wanted to plumb through the wall was to go to the room next door to have all my equipment in that room next door. I've got some light ballast there and I've got some you know Vortec uh, controllers but that's about it. So let's let's go into the main equipment room for this display tank and I'll kind of give you guys a feel for uh, what I did with this tank and what I'm thinking about for a possible next tank. Possible next tank. <laughs> So that's my sump. It's a Royal Exclusive Dream Box. And um, this is where all my equipment is. I've got my uh, Proflux 4 controller, my doser, my KH director right there. So it's all uh, very uh, centrally located in this one location. So the plumbing comes through that wall right into the sump. And this uh, sump is, well, let's say the, the frag tank here is, dis is uh, plumbed into the sump. So the display tank and the frag tank are on the same system. These are my um, top off. So that's my RODI water. And that's a 55 gallon drum. And I'll, you know, I have pumps in there and I pump it into this uh, other 55 gallon drum where I mix up the salt water. So. The reason why I did the plumbing into the other room here is because it gives me a lot of room to operate. I got a lot of space, a lot of room for equipment, which I really like. All right, so now with a new tank, I mentioned that I was thinking about a, a peninsula tank or a, a cube tank. So one thing I was thinking about is that a peninsula tank might be really cool in this location because I could essentially get a really good view of it from my desk. And the, um, this wall right here, or even this little nook back here, could be a really cool spot for a peninsula tank. 
I've never had one, always thought about getting a Peninsula tank. So the one drawback, the one, my one hesitation is that I do like to have a lot of room for my equipment. But I, um, it would be tough for me to have a, um, an equipment room with this tank uh, against this wall. So let me, let me show you what I could do is I could do the same thing and drill some holes in this wall and put some PVC piping through this wall and I could have all the equipment in this storage closet. Well, it's really a storage room. I've got a lot of junk in here. I've got some uh, videography and photography equipment. A lot of TP, gotta stock up on that TP. But um, what you can tell is that this room is kind of cool, cold, cool cold, because it's not really that insulated. The other uh, work room is where our furnace is. And so that room is really quite nice, warm and toasty. This room is uh, pretty, pretty cool. And in um, Vermont in the winter time, that could be an issue. So if I wanted to plumb through the wall, which would be behind this uh, bike, it's kind of hard to see, then um, I could do it. I could have all the equipment in here. I would just have to clear out a lot of this junk, but I would probably have to address that issue in terms of the heat and do some extra insulation. I would also have to add some um, electrical outlets in here and I probably would want to also add a, uh, a slop sink just to make it easier to do water changes and, and what have you and and uh, just uh, overall it, it's always good I think to have a slop sink if you can. So that's a lot of work, it's a lot of extra money. I don't know if I want to do that or not but that's one possibility. <clears throat> the other possibility is just to do the peninsula tank right here and kind of use this little nook maybe behind it to have some of the equipment and then um, you know do water changes I could basically do some long um, garden hoses to pump out water to the slop sink in that room that you could see all the way through there so that's a possibility and then I could um, you know use the RODI system the uh, the drum I have back there to pump new water back into a peninsula tank over there. So that's 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 possible. That's doable. I would have to probably add some some outlets here, but I would not have the kind of room I have in that um, other room, the big tank room, with all the equipment. Another possibility is to do a peninsula tank against this wall, and the advantage of that is. You know, A, you kind of come walking down the stairs and boom, there's a peninsula tank, which would be kind of cool. And I think it would be good. The problem is I'd have to move the pool table. So I'd have to get some moving guys in here or some friends or whatever and, and help, uh, to help, you know, have me, um, help me move this pool table. Probably need to get the, uh, the guys that installed the pool table because it, it has, it's going to have to get re-leveled out. But... That's a one drawback. But the positive is against this wall, and we'll go in here, behind this wall. Now we're going into the, uh, the deep <clears throat> part of the reef bum basement here, back into the furnace room. So what I could do is, again, drill through the wall and put some PVC piping through this wall and have it come right out into this space. And I would actually, you know, certainly have to clear out this area. But it's a possible space where I could have a nice, uh, decent sized sump, room for equipment. I could even um, plumb probably across the ceiling here, down up here, and then down here, and plumb into my um, water changing system. So I could really have, I could utilize the RODI reservoir as well as the saltwater makeup reservoir for both tanks. I would just have to run some additional PVC piping along that uh, wall, the ceiling, obviously avoid the, uh, the electrical, but you know, I can go through this uh, wall pretty easily and I can have it all set up in here pretty nice. I mean, this is the furnace back in here. I hesitate a little bit about having salt water running back here. You know, I got all the um, the copper pipes and what what have you, but this room, the door is is always left open. I always leave it open. 
none of the other copper piping and, and anything else in here has been impacted by the frag tank as well as the sump so i don't know i think that's a definite possibility in terms of having the plumbing come through here for peninsula tank i just i'm a little bit more in love with the other spot <clears throat> down in this part of the room near that tom siever jersey yes i'm a met fan i hate to admit it um i i am more i am favoring this location for the peninsula but this would be a lot easier for me i think in terms of running the tank and operating the tank all right so those are the two spots i was thinking about for a peninsula tank the other thing i was thinking about <clears throat> is this uh, cube and it would be a smaller cube probably like a two foot by two foot cube but this would also be the perfect spot to have a cube tank and um what i did fail to mention in terms of the peninsula tank is i would definitely want it to be a um an sps tank an sps dominated tank i would also want to probably do a very very minimal aquascape almost like a bonsai type of uh, aquascape i think those are pretty cool those do present some challenges with an sps tank i might also do a bare bottom so i would probably want to have a lot of <clears throat> live rock with that tank in the sump area and again i think it would be better to have a an area where i could have a location to accommodate a lot of live rock if i wanted to do a minimal bonsai aquascape for an SPS dominated tank but anyway getting back to the to the cube tank I would want to certainly have some SPS in that tank but um, I'm not uh, wed to be pure SPS so I think it would be a mixed reef probably easier to take care of less volume in terms of the uh, the fish tank in terms of that cube versus the peninsula I'm probably talking at least about <clears throat> a six foot long by two foot wide peninsula tank so that that would be some pretty large water volume but this would be a darn good location for a cube tank so that'll do it for the tour i appreciate you guys coming along and i'm really curious to hear your feedback so please drop some comments in the video description below i'd be interested to see where uh what spots you guys think would be the best for this new tank possible new tank I also wanted to remind you guys about my premium SPS frag store. So if you're interested in purchasing some frags, I'll drop a link in the video description below. And I also want to remind you about my reef keeping master class. It's an online class, very immersive experience, provides best practices on how to keep an SPS reef tank. I'll add a link in the video description below as well. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.